I'm going to stray with the reading for the collective. Take what resonates throughout the rest. I hope that everybody's doing very well. Um, appreciate all the positive energy. Yeah, so some parts of the reading could resonate and other parts are for someone else. Or something could be too triggering, but you know it's for you, but you can always come back later. Because it's never worth it if it makes you feel farther away from God or outside of your body. Um, I really appreciate all of your support of one another, your, your donations, your likes, your subscribes. Come join us on um, Patreon. It's a real warm energy over there. Um, I add some of the things that I don't feel are quite right for the channel um, and then some other stuff too um, you know some of the readings come out too intense things like that so I, I post them there um, seven of cups under the deck page of cups reverse a lot of emotional stuff but everything here is all about confusion and being in a fog or something's not real or something like that because Seven of Cups is about multiple choices, needing to take a step back and see through the fog, but it's kind of hard. Um, kind of hard. There's really only one, one right choice. Um, So this could be confusion, this could be some type of a, um, what's the word, indulgence, someone could be indulging in something that makes them feel foggy, or someone's got a cast over them that feels foggy with this page of cups reversed, this could be someone who's very insincere, they say all the right words. Someone could feel like they're in love, but they're not. Or this could be someone sweet-talking someone. This could also be somebody who um, is crying and very sensitive because it's a page. It's just a very sensitive, raw feelings. It could be that as well. So, But it definitely feels ungrounded. Something's ungrounded here for sure. Venus and Scorpio. The problem is the tower. So my last reading, the tower came out in the same spot, so I feel like this is a continuation of that um, energy. So somebody is, and maybe that means that there's more detail coming out here that I didn't get in the last reading. Um, so somebody, or it's a continuation, so someone is, um, since this is in a challenge position, they are challenged by something that's out of their control. So this is a faulty foundation um, that is falling. This could be something based on lies, based on ego. This could be shocking, shocking information. It could be someone blowing up uh, at someone else. Um, this could be, there could be something very fiery happening. Um, Seven of Cups in the Tower, yeah, this just feels like someone who's definitely, you know, this is a foundation that could be real rocky, and someone is not clear, they're trying to figure something out, someone could be very surprised, someone could be in shock, um, this could be shocking news, um, unexpected shocking news, unexpected revelation, um, Wow, Knight of Cups reverse under the deck. So this has a, a similar energy to the Page of Cups reverse. This is someone who's insincere. Um, can't, this person can't be trusted. This Knight of Cups reverse. Even in the upright, Knights, knights, are, knights are an action. There's not staying power. Even in the upright, it could be, you know, someone act nothing wrong with romantic feelings, but it's fleeting. So it's not like a, this gesture could feel good, but it can't be relied on. In the reverse, somebody's 
love bombing subconsciously someone knows someone's love bombing or sweet talking or two of wands reverse wanted to come out as well with that knight of cups reverse someone didn't plan well while they were love bombing or someone didn't plan well who was being very insincere with someone they don't have another action they've run out of actions they can take because they were this could be someone who seems very warm uh, but they're not real congenial friendly warm person it could be that or this could be a romantic I mean, that, that's both love bombing. So some type of love bombing that someone didn't plan well. Seven of Cups, Knight of Cups reverse. This is a, a real ungrounded and not reliable, fake or false or dreamy in the wrong way. Um, bad impressions, wrong impressions, confusion. Empress reverse, wow, in the recent past. So this is a feminine energy who is someone who, who could be pretending to be um, like the Empress in the Upright. So they could come across, because you have Venus here, very lovely, um, grounded, a beautiful home, nice things, or they take care of what they have. They're very um, abundant, or those around them find themselves with a, you know, an abundance, um, an infinite abundance around this person. Um, but in the reverse, because the Empress has also been through a lot as well, and that's why they're the Empress, they embody all queens of the deck, but in reverse, this person has been, maybe they have an air about them. They could act very sweet and nurturing but really, they're very insecure. Um, everybody in the world can have insecurity. It's it's tough to be alive. It can be tough to be alive. Um, but this is... This is someone who is covering up their insecurity and they're ultra... They're ultra insecure. Um, it's, it's a constant. And... They're conditionally loving, so they need to get something in exchange, or a person has to do what they say, or give them something, or be a certain way in order to receive love from this person. Um, this person could be unkempt. They could be someone who's very uh, wishy-washy. They could be manipulative. They could be uh, fickle, moody. This person could um, be very judgmental and critical. So, Empress in the reverse. So someone could be, this could be whose reading it is, or someone could be having a tower about this person. Or someone who wants someone to be in a fog is having a tower. So we'll definitely tap, we'll definitely clarify. Wow. Nine of Swords reverse and wow knight of pentacles reverse so this is more ungrounded more fleeting more untrustworthy more knight of pentacles reverse this is someone who's irresponsible this is someone who people see as irresponsible this is someone who's non-committal this is something slowing down to a snail's pace this is something that is not de definitive this is not um constructive it is it's wandering um with nine of swords reverse this is someone irresponsible uh trying to get out of a nightmare someone non-committal trying to get out of a nightmare and this is someone is expecting this they're expecting this i guess they could be trying to force this energy depends on what their angle is and we i need to clarify so um real ungrounded uh, foggy foggy irresponsible false fake energy Nine of Cups in the near future. Someone's going to be satisfied or happy about something in the near future. 
self-satisfied. The lens someone's looking through, Page of Swords. So someone could be reading something, they've got to figure something out, they're being witty, they're looking into something, um, that they could be gossiping or having some type of fast-paced conversation. This could also be a young person um, who likes to be, um, you know, debate or have, have, be in the mind. Um, they pride themselves on their, their smarts or, you know, exercising their m muscles, their intellect. This could be someone reading, researching, watching something or watching someone. Someone could feel watched or they're watching someone or they're reading or learning about something. In the environment, it's something that's affecting this person, these people, or this is how these people come across. Star reverse. So this is like maybe something that was was once very gleaming, lit up, being dull and faded, lackluster. Someone, someone falling from the limelight, um, like a fading star, a fading star. This could be someone who's hopeless. This could be someone whose wishes aren't coming true. This could be someone that doesn't inspire others. This could be someone that is... Um, yeah, it's lackluster where maybe something was on the surface gleaming. Something was gleaming on the surface, but something's, you know, it's scratched off. It's scratched off. And underneath it is just some dull, dull plastic or it's not real. Um, this could be someone who seemed, seemed like they were the star energy. So, um inspiring others, a guiding light, um, inspirational, a visionary, forward thinker, um, wish someone whose wishes are coming true, um, dazzling, a dazzling person, dazzling feelings, but in the reverse, it's missing, something's missing, it's not there, or someone has lost their spark, they're, they're not they're not someone that is this sort of enigmatic central figure who's who's lit up and and lights up the room. This is not someone who lights up the room. Um, or someone who seems like they've lost lost a dream. Um, hopes and fears. Or yeah, someone could come across this way or yeah. Ten of Pentacles reverse. Someone's afraid of losing everything. They're afraid of losing uh, generational wealth. They're afraid of losing, you know, maybe they could have built a business or they could have uh, be losing an inheritance. They could be worried about losing um, fancy things, life of luxury. They could be worried about a family falling apart. Um, that where there's a lot of sort of interwoven. Um, you know, like a family business or mutual investments or things like that. Someone could be worried. They could be worried um, because they don't want someone else to have a Ten of Pentacles and that's why it's reverse. They could be afraid. They want to hold someone else back or something like that. Um, outcome, Page of Cups reverse. So we started with this card and this is still that same real floaty, insincere, sweet talker, uh, someone in their feelings, very sensitive, maybe crying a lot. So we have to clarify to see if this is like an action someone's taking or that's feelings they're having. Wow. Under the deck we have King of Swords Reverse. So this permeates the whole reading because, especially because it's the first... These are the Kabbalistic Tarot, by the way, in case you wanted to know. Um, you can get them on Etsy. Um, yeah. And so, um, King of Swords Reverse, so this is someone who could be lacking in intelligence, someone who thought they were smart, but they're not. Um, this could be someone who is extremely smart, but they are lacking an empathy gene, 
real um, cruel, um, mani manipulative, um, shifty, and cold, and maybe even sociopathic, um, I would say, I don't know, between the King of Swords Reverse and the King of Pentacles Reverse, I would say King of Swords Reverse probably, I don't know, com comparatively worse, I would say, I think. Because it's, it's swords, it's just lacking in empathy. Um, it's like, it could be someone who s maybe never had it. Um, this could also be someone who's being, who's real cold to someone as well. It could be a fleeting energy, doesn't have to be that is this person's label. And that's just what they are. This could be a fleeting energy that someone is in, real cold um, with someone. So let's see who the central energy is of this reading. Someone's in a tower. Vampire Don Juan. So this could be a masculine energy that is very energy draining, which is this King of Swords reverse. Someone who drains others. Very narcissistic, dark triad type of energy with this Don Juan and vampire. This could be a Don Juan who's dealing with the vampire energy, someone who's a energy drainer, um, who depletes others, which is what I was talking about with this Empress Reverse. Instead of feeling filled up, you know, someone could dress the part, talk the part, look the part, say and do things that seem like um, everything on, on the surface seems like it's an Empress energy in the upright, but they're not, they're, they, you feel drained dealing with this person or over time there's heavy losses with that person. Don Juan Alchemist, so this could be still a masculine energy that um, dibble dabbles in some type of lower vibrational spiritual practice. It could be, they could be misusing some knowledge that they have because they feel like they're, um, it's edgy somehow doing something because they think it's edgy, or they could be, well, I see student, teacher, alchemist, engineer, so someone who thinks in a very mechanistic way, someone who could, there's someone learning something from someone here and someone teaching something. Um, so they, they could be, I, I think I see mentor, Oh no, that's mediator, saboteur. Someone did something for someone here. Someone advocated for someone. They did something behind the scenes. These could be religious people um, or very dogmatic people. They feel like they're the only way, like they, they're the only ones that know or something like that. Whatever they're doing, they're doing it for their own um, cause. It's a selfish cause. Um, they could be in denial of an emotional truth um, and be dealing with you, De be dealing with someone who's very, um, you could like your time alone. Um, you could be, you, you are someone who maintains purity of heart and spirit someone here joined with some group it's like they were taken in they were taken in and they were learning something um, from someone who made them feel like they were very powerful because they were getting love bombed by this person they were they were playing some type of like a, a role misusing feminine energy like they were there's some type of you know, using like false sweetness, some type of like sweet talk or baby talk or some kind of fake sweetness, this empress energy reverse. But then also this is someone who is a, a thief that gossips. This is someone who likes to um, take what doesn't belong to them, um, stealing money, um, someone else's affection, stealing, stealing someone else's life path. Um, feeling invincible while they do it, 
um, someone felt like they were learning something from this person. And um, someone feels victimized, though, in this situation, for sure now. Um, definitely, they were, they took a gamble. This was, they were using romance somehow, and this was all about sabotaging you, because this is your reading. Let's see what else comes out, if anything else comes out about this person or these people. So, someone might be realizing they've got to face some type of inner, inner demon, someone who, um is a trickster that, or, or they need to face their inner, inner demons, their um, mystic trickster angel. So this is someone who is, maybe acts very innocent, but is, is tricking, trying to trick. It's either this Don Juan acts very innocent and is trying to trick someone um, or throw someone off, or there's a, this Empress Reverse is the trickster trying to throw off this um, player or this couple here with this mystic are trying to manipulate this angelic feminine energy or this or who masculine energy just someone who's very angelic judge they could have done something behind the scenes um, they could have misused business legal or um, criminal authority they could offer mostly destructive criticism of this person that's very angelic. Um, but everything was for for money, prostitute. Someone here could be an actual prostitute or someone is placing material consideration and um, security above self-empowerment. This is a couple, it seems like. Someone here could have been someone that was you were in a relationship with at a certain point. If they felt like they were learning something from someone that was fooling them. Maybe they felt real invincible in this situation. Because everyone thinks of them as a Samaritan or a good person when they're really a saboteur. Someone has some sort of destructive behavior or the desire to undermine others. This person could be feeling very alone right now. Um, they could be very withdrawn. Yeah, there's something about someone feeling like a, a victim. Someone could have some type of addictive um, patterns. Um, they could want to victimize someone that is very artistic or is an artist. Um, or this could be someone that is an artist that has some type of addictive patterns. Um, that is in need of some type of help or they wanted you You could be someone that's an artist or thinks in a very abstract way You could be a poet um, or use words in a certain way or they were using words to try to um, Lower your status somehow so you you needed to beg you needed to beg um, And they were doing this behind the scenes um, personally or professionally to Someone here that thinks in a very abstract way. Yeah, I think these are a couple. A couple? Someone was advocating for someone while they were doing this. Yeah, this whole thing was all about destroying you. Destroying your dreams. Um, and thinking in a very mechanistic way. This was all about um, like standing up and fighting. Fighting an, an, an angelic person. Thinking in a very me mechanistic way and fighting you know this is like someone who approached this situation like it was war um but it's strange because they're approaching war yeah because they want to be this king they want to be this king they want to take this gamble so they can be this king and they the idea is to fight you to destroy you um night someone could have i don't know there's definitely something about romance here with someone who maintains period of heart and spirit somebody here was trying to fight you fight someone who's real angelic as if it was like um sun tzu the art of war this was like long-term um, strategy here. 
some sort of long-term strategy to destroy an angelic person's dreams and do things behind the scenes. Um, this person could even read the Art of War. Um, okay, so... What do we need to know? This could be a couple that... This is sort of zeroing in on a couple, but... Fortune child. Someone's having a tower, though. Someone's having a tower. Child with the gift. You're the fortune child or the child with a gift. Thief. Someone wants to steal something from this, like, very pure person. Um... So they can be an official person. But it didn't work. They didn't get the gift. And they weren't able to steal something. You don't seem to be concerned. Something's coming to you. Something's coming to you. Seven of Cups. Someone's confused. Or they're dreaming about this money. Or they're trying to figure out how they can get this money. Or... So they're, because they're trying to figure out their options, how they can get this money. Or they're dreaming, or they're thinking, how can they get, yeah, how can they get this money? Because Thief keeps coming up. Tower. They don't know what to do because something's coming to you. Tower, they're having a tower moment. House reverse. They could be in a very dysfunctional um, living their home situation would be very, very dysfunctional. They could be losing their house. They could be losing a business. Um, they're having a tower. They're trying to... They're having a tower. They're losing this house or everything's dysfunctional. And they're looking at your wealth or... They were, or, they, or someone was in a fog. Okay? It could also be someone was in a fog. And they're looking at the fact that they were in a fog about getting wealthy suddenly. But they're, now they're in a tower and losing their house. Or losing their house is metaphorical somehow, but this is someone who was ruthless because they wanted to have an official position. They were gambling someone who's very innocent to get the sudden wealth, but now they're thinking they were in a fog. They were, but they were learning something because we saw teacher mentor from someone that was te yeah, teaching them something. Knight of Cups, reverse, Two of Wands, reverse. Because someone uses romance here, um, but they're stuck. They didn't plan well, and they don't have another move. Um, they're, in, they're in bad health. They're in bad health. This karmic feminine is in bad health, or they're in bad health because they align themselves with this person. The Empress reverse in the recent past, or someone is sick, mentally unstable, official person, right? So now people are seeing this person, maybe this masculine energy who's not doing well. This could be someone from their past. They could be someone that was in your life romantically um doesn't have to be but um official person empress reverse so this is someone's title now meaning anything that was hidden about this person or if someone felt like they were learning something or they were going to gain abundance or that this person loved them unconditionally or that this person was well put together or that this person had some type of um you know, central figure energy. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it. They're, they're not. This person is seen as someone who's unkempt, who leads others the wrong way, who doesn't know. They're insecure. They, it's all an act. And whatever they were offering, they didn't get. And, and if anything, they're losing something here. Um, and this masculine energy could have lost a lot with this situation, Knight of Pentacles reverse, Nine of Swords reverse. Someone is non-committal. They want to get out of this, or they want to slow something down, or someone wants to get out of this nightmare. Okay, this is more of an expectation. 
So someone is expecting someone to be non-committal to get out of this. Um, battery went out. Under the deck we have this mature man, so... Maybe this person is feeling like the only way out of the nightmare is to slow down or be not commit to something. Or someone's expecting to be seen as irresponsible, but it's the only way out of the nightmare. Or extreme. Once someone finds something out, or someone's realizing something, so they've got to get out of a nightmare. They could have embraced some, they thought that they were learning something, or throwing someone under the bus, throwing you under the bus. Someone's going to be real happy about something in the near future. Marriage. In the upright. So you feel like last reading or the reading before that was also in the near future. Someone's going to be happy in the near future. It was like two readings ago or the last reading. I feel like it was even nine of cups and something to do with a marriage. Maybe three readings ago in the near future. It was nine of cups and marriage. Mature man reversed under the deck again. Someone from your past. Someone's going to be wrong. Maybe you're getting married or this is a um, some type of a alliance. Um, page of Swords. Someone's got to be very clever. Someone's trying to say something very witty. Family room wealthy man. So someone could be watching this wealthy man at home or trying to be very clever or witty with this wealthy man because they're worried about losing this support of this community or this wealthy man is watching something in their family room or in their living room or there's a secret here or something only a few people know this wealthy man is in the upright, so maybe someone wants to be witty, so they come across like this wealthy man. They've got a, or this wealthy man is researching something, or someone is researching this wealthy man. Maybe they want to go visit their their house, or they need something from this wealthy man. They've got to be real clever, or this wealthy man is reading something themselves. This wealthy man is looking into something. The star reverse. Somebody is not. But they're not inspirational, they're not, wishes aren't coming true, they're not, they're lackluster, something's fake, occupation reverse, so, star reverse, occupation reverse, so someone is not this leading character, or they're not, they're losing their job because they're not inspiring others, or they don't like up the room or they're not they they they're not a visionary um they're not born to shine or they're not a light worker they're not healing they're not inspiring they don't have ideas they're not progressive they're it's fake so they could be losing their job or someone was trying to pretend like because if someone was trying to steal something they could have had some type of an act going um, to try to be the center of attention or something like that message, but they don't have whatever it is, is what it's coming across because it's in the environment, star reverse. They don't have it. They don't have it, but they could have been acting like they did. And maybe for this money or they're, they want something from this wealthy man. This feels like someone putting on an act Maybe they were trying to steal something, or they lost their job, or star occupation. A falling star, a... I don't know, just someone a real lackluster. I feel like someone that disappoints people, or... It was an act. It wasn't real. Um, someone could be getting a message about this. Or because of a message, something that implicates someone. 
Um, Ten of Pentacles reverse. Someone's worried they're gonna lose everything by losing Thief reverse. Yeah, someone tried to steal something from you and it didn't work. Whatever they tried to steal from you. They weren't able to steal it and now it's like people are seeing the real person behind the mask or behind the glamour, the fake glamour or something, but they were stealing it all and there could be a message or something that implicates them. So now everyone looks at them like corrupt or like a criminal or like low, low vibes or lowly or even nasty, like nasty person or you know, it's real cringy or because people know what someone was doing and they feel duped or it's just real off-putting. Something's real off-putting and someone's worried because they're losing their job. Um, or someone could be aligned with someone here. And it, it, someone, they weren't able to steal something. Um, maybe they tried to take something that was yours and make it into something and you, they couldn't actualize it because they're, it's not theirs, or they were trying to knock you out of your, off your, your space and beat you, but it, they took something, but it's just very clear they're not, you know, they didn't have whatever it was they were trying to steal. They didn't know how to implement, implement it or it wasn't theirs, so they couldn't, or they got exposed. Maybe they stole one thing and then they couldn't steal something else from you and they weren't able to replicate it or they got exposed somehow. Yeah, community reverse. There's definitely something about people seeing this person like, maybe someone that tried to block your pathway and try to sneak away or something. Yeah, something about someone trying to block you Maybe even in a court, using the legal system somehow, this karmic feminine. And whoever's aligned with this person, or learnt, thought they were learning something. I feel like they felt invincible because somehow they felt protected by this person, this karmic feminine energy, and they felt like this person knows the way and they followed someone who was blocking you. Like, this is the way to this glamour. If you can get this gift or take this gift or steal this gift, this is the way and they weren't able to take it. And they got exposed, I feel like. And there's this whole, this could be a bunch of people that got involved and they weren't able to steal something or convince others something was theirs because lies travel quickly, but the truth endures. At a certain point, like oil and water, little bits of oil inside water are going to come together, you know, just rules of nature. It's just rules of nature. The truth endures. It's going to come out because it is the truth. Um, something's coming to you here that they wanted. Something about a message, someone giving someone a message, someone reading a message. Or someone wants to send someone a message because they know, because they lost something. Page of Cups reverse. Someone is sweet talking someone um, or crying. Message of concern. Someone could be crying because of a message that's out and exposed. They don't, or someone wants to beg someone for their forgiveness or I don't know, adjudication reverse. They don't want to be judged. They don't want to go to court. They, they're trying to sweet talk someone or say just the right words. Someone could be sending a message to get out of something or to deflect from what's really going on here. Um, King of Swords reverse. So this is someone ruthless, lacking an empathy gene, who got involved here, who could be dreaming about 
this wealth, they thought they were going to get wealth, they're realizing they were in a fog, or they're trying to figure out how to get someone's wealth now because they involve themselves in a situation where it didn't work out. And now they see something's coming to you. Impersonator ego. Someone was trying to copy your energy. Yeah, this is someone who, star reverse, they were trying to take something or act like you, or this is someone who could um, abuse divination or some type of spiritual, lower vibrational spiritual practice. Yeah, creativity, mantra, ego. And that's the other thing is that this could be someone who was very entitled and like arrogant, but they're stealing from you. They're putting you down, but they're stealing from you. Someone that was stealing from definitely creative creativity muncher. They could be dealing with this wealthy man. Maybe this wealthy man is someone that's a business person or someone got caught for sure for not being what they said they are or for trying to steal this money or copy you or someone's in their ego. This could be someone went too far who stole something from you but really couldn't once they got whatever it is, they were too prideful to recognize how they came across when they were trying to do, t use, implement, actualize whatever it is they stole. Or there's something about someone here copying your energy for sure, or copying your ideas, who has a big ego, a really big ego, but something failed here. And their ego could be hurt because people are realizing that someone was trying to copy you or steal from you and everyone knows it now. I'm hearing a high pitch, real high pitch. So a right ear high pitch could be a big deal for someone. This has been going on for a while. So is this person sudden well seven of cups trying to figure out a way how to get this money or they're realizing they were in it? Fishing for comments, dodging bullets. Dodging bullets, fishing for comments. They're trying to figure something out. They're trying to figure out their options. People, what are they going to say? How are they going to answer something without being truthful about their... They're trying to sweet talk or love bomb. They're trying to do something without being held accountable, but they want this money. Or there's something about that someone... I mean, we talk about dodging bullets. Somebody was definitely coming for you. We saw with all those archetype cards, it was saboteur and it was all about money. Something's all about money and sabotage and a romance. And I think this could be you dodging these bullets or someone is trying to figure out what to say, fishing for comments. Someone could be asking someone questions about something. But that's why maybe that's why they've got to be witty. Maybe they've got to be witty with this wealthy man. They've got to say the right thing, or they try to fake something or act like they knew what they were talking about, or something. Someone got caught. But I also feel like somebody was trying to. Um, someone was in a fog about how because they were felt feeling very invincible and so they were too arrogant this person who was copying you very arrogant sabotaged a thief trying to steal something very arrogant and they were in a fog about you or what was going on this whole time and something about you not getting hit with whatever this is and then being seen as 
whatever they wanted you to be seen as the star reverse or they wanted to block your light they wanted to block you from being seen and they come across like someone that was trying to steal from you and block you from being seen and it's real like rank or it's real just like, why would you do that it just like because if you if you have to steal it that means you don't have it and that means that everything's fake and then it there is lackluster and then it's like it's uninteresting it's not enigmatic it's not mysterious it's not blessed it's not gifted it's not anything that makes anybody they, they realize everything was like an act it was all fake it was the wizard of oz <laughs> I don't know if it's the Wizard of Oz, though. That's kind of a different different analogy. But anyway, I think you get what I'm saying. Yeah, this is someone who was trying to bully you online, maybe, or using social media, or just a bully in general. They're in a tower. What kind of a tower is this? House reverse. Someone is not a wolf in sheep's clothing. Someone is an obs obsessed. I don't know if someone was trying to paint you out to be a bad guy and someone's realizing that someone is obsessed or someone is obsessed with thinking they want you to be a bad guy or bad gal. I don't know with that part yet. Someone is not well physically or mentally. Someone's love, love bombing someone. They're stuck. They didn't plan well. Confused. Someone's real confused. Yeah. I started out by saying so there's a lot of confusion here. Someone being in some type of a fog or ungrounded. Something about this is that's very, yeah, just like that word confused or foggy or someone's like in a delirious or someone's just someone could be confused because they drank the Kool-Aid. They drank the Kool-Aid or someone was so full of themselves that and so arrogant that they can't understand that this is all falling apart and why because they were so, yeah, something was not smart. Low IQ, and I see you sticking out here. Idol, loved, respected, admired. Someone could have lied about you. They weren't able to take. Someone could have been real arrogant about what they thought they could take from you as well. Like, they wanted to take your place. Maybe they thought how you arrived at where you arrived at, or why people love you, or whatever it is, is easy or that anyone can do it, or if they just steal or copy, but, or they really felt like they could do some really serious damage to your reputation or drain your energy, because we saw a vampire. They could do something to the point where it would permanently destroy what you've got going on, whatever it is that you're real brilliant at. This is like an older picture, you know, of Mariah Carey, and she's got all of these people that really are happy, having a good time. So, groupie, someone's realizing something about somebody. Reminds me of that, um, You'll Always Be a Fan song. Someone ignoring someone. It kind of has that vibe. Groupy. Someone might be having a tower or a realization that they were following someone that was obsessed with you, that was trying to take your place, that doesn't know what they're doing or absolutely can't replace you. And not only that, 
this person could be trying to figure out how to avoid legal issues because something or there could be an offer coming to you that they know about and they're trying to be really clever as this wealthy man or with this wealthy man or there could be legal issues because they stole something and offered something up that was yours to this wealthy man or they lied about you to this wealthy man or once something comes out with this tower especially with the star and the occupation and the environment someone here could be in the public eye and there could be a lawsuit and they've got to be careful because now they've dragged someone who's in the public eye yeah so, or someone offered some some something to someone so that someone would bully you it had to do with a romantic affair someone made an offer to someone or someone was in an a romantic affair with someone and was bullying you for money <laughs> or someone made someone an offer that was bullying you and you dusted it off and whoever this is is, is now being seen as some type of like faker or, or something or corrupt person and now who's threatened by you and real insecure and people are starting to find out yeah, they're seeing past this person's mask. Someone was trying to say you're not a leader. Um, definitely someone who was, people are also seeing something about this couple and someone being threatened by you or something. Have People are seeing something is like, has to do, it's deeper than what someone was trying to make it out to be on the surface because someone was trying to yeah, this person's real unhinged. They might be someone that doesn't pay attention to their children, or they've got some shadow work to do, something happened to them in childhood they've got to deal with. They could be really upset because someone's not interested in them, is not attracted to them. They don't, or they don't want someone to be interested in you because they were talking shit about you. They could have tried to say that you, you're physically ill or you've got some sort of communicable disease. They could have tried to say you don't have any money. This person didn't have the facts. They were trying to cock block you. Someone's realizing that someone was lying about you. It could be this wealthy man or it could be this person from your past. It could be this person from your past that was lying about you. You don't have these bad habits. Someone's moving or someone wants to move from this impersonator. Someone doesn't want to be trapped with this person anymore. Someone's tripping on you because they don't rob empty houses. Why were they trying to steal from you? So it did the opposite. They were, someone stole something from you. That means you had something. Not, not whoever this is. Someone was trying to block you. People could see it now. Or someone's inner circle here or at their work, their job, or your old job or in, or in your career. Someone's getting karma. These people party a lot or there's a whole party scene involved. Yeah, some, these two people got married for money um, and you were supposed to go broke. That was part of the, some cockamamie plan. You were supposed to go bankrupt. You were supposed to go down. Someone was getting married for, for money and clout. They were watching you all the time. You were supposed to be in some type of a nightmare and go down. But I think with the star energy, you could be someone that, I don't know why, what the point was of like, they married for money. They were watching you. You were supposed to go down. Yeah, they were making everything, everything was about glamour, how great they look, and you were supposed to go down. You were supposed to go broke. You were supposed to be in some type of a nightmare, and they were watching you. This is weird stuff. This is real weird stuff. Um, 
just pull a few of these and see. Um, these are fun. Okay, pertinent signs, dates, planets. Okay, so we've got Virgo. We've got Virgo twice. Um, we have Libra. And then planets, we have the sun and the moon, which feels like eclipse energy. So this could be eclipse season stuff. Um, we have Pluto. Wow, for sure. That's about like things in the dark coming up, getting tilled. Is that the word? All the dust coming up from something that was hidden. Underworld stuff. We have the number 10 and 4. You could see 1441 or 1144, 4411. You could be part of 144,000 because I also see four here again. So 144. Four. Well, this is, this is the 411. You're getting the information about the eclipse. You're going to get this information, something that was going on. This is renewal energy, Scorpio energy. Um... Virgo. This could be very pertinent information coming up that people are finding out because of this eclipse. 1044 could be important time or something about October 4th or April 10th. Someone could be born in 44. Um, okay, so those could be also important transits, something about October 4th, I think I said that already, um, or those could be houses, 4th house, 10th house, uh, yeah, I feel like 10th house has a lot to do with career, your career. So definitely about some, someone trying to do something to you, your career. And someone's real confused here. Let's just do one more pass. These people who can, what's happening is, is that these people were very arrogant about stealing something from you. They did something. I mean, this is like a crazy plan to be so, um, yeah, that every dream comes true. They're so confused why things are working out for you in business. <sighs> Or they thought that every dream was going to come true in business from doing this, aligning themselves with something. They really believed someone about something that was teaching them something about getting all this money, about being this star or being this in the center of things. But they had to steal something. They were stealing from someone very angelic, though, but it's like they were on board with it. But then there was someone here who was lying about you and someone was confused about who's who or something, or someone's realizing that they were listening to someone who is like obsessed and unhealthy because this person could have had this very um, dark plan but come across as very sweet, which sounds weird. That's cognitive dissonance. I feel like someone wanted something so badly that they were allowing themselves to go along with some very dark plan in order to gain something. And so they turned a blind eye. Could be um, seven of cups, sudden wealth. Someone thought they were going to get wealthy or now they're trying to figure something out because you dodged these bullets and now whatever's coming to you. Um, yeah, the truth is coming out or the truth is here. The truth is that you, people want to know about the truth. People could be the truth is coming out because you dodged these bullets. Someone's mother figure could be involved. Or someone's a mother figure here. The truth is out. And because they weren't able to, whatever is yours, they couldn't take it. So it's, since it's yours, because you made it through or past something, or they weren't able, they were so arrogant or whatever this pl weird plan is, or people are finding out, or the truth is out. 
it's like getting through the um, maze. You got through the maze. You got through the maze. Whoever tried to create the maze now, maybe they're stuck in it. They're stuck in the maze, or everyone knows they created the maze so they could get something. They probably try to block you or trap you, but because you made it out, the truth is coming out, you know. But they're confused. I don't know why they're so confused because the plan is so weird and crazy sounding. Um, you should know it's okay. Don't worry about a thing. Don't worry about a thing. Something about legal issues. The truth is coming out. Someone's going to have legal issues. There's definitely something about escaping. Yeah, that there's something that I kept thinking, something about someone escaping. EFGH could be, this could be more than just someone from your past. There could be someone else here that, okay, so there's a celebrity involved or something like that. There could be a celebrity trying to escape a situation or someone's trying to escape a situation with a celebrity. Or someone was trying to get around a celebrity or something. Someone here could have a darker complexion than you, or you could have a darker complexion than someone here. Or there could be a celebrity with a darker complexion. <laughs> now I have lighter complexion and darker complexion. So I think there's multiple of us here, and that's what that is. But there is something about someone's complexion is like significant somehow. Um, someone legal issues, court case, you should know it's going to be fine. If you're dealing with a court case, something about a court case, it's okay, don't worry. Escape, you're going to escape this situation. There's going to be a court case or someone's worried about this court case or legal issues because of what they tried to do. Because now the truth is out. Or someone wants to escape the situation, yeah, because someone feels like the only way out of this nightmare is to stop the commitment to something. They can't commit any more to this. They're in a tower. Or this obsessive person is in a tower. Something about your high vibrations and your crown chakra and Archangel Michael. You could be... You could be a water sign, or there's a water sign involved with it's some sort of witchy group, and, and this fire sign, and these people trying to, to bully you because they're greedy, um, trying to mess with your head, play mind games with you, particularly also in your home or around your home or something like that. Something about someone's home. Someone's real upset, or there's a tower, or someone's losing, losing their home, or... These people, there's a whole group of people here or they were trying to do something or people are finding out it's shocking what they were trying to do to and there's something about you being protected and Archangel Michael and you, your downloads, you could be very intuitive, have one of the Claire's or multiple Claire's, someone is going through a tower. They could be realizing something about you. Maybe someone underestimated you or didn't realize something here. Archangel Michael is protecting you. I think it's multiple people and it's... Someone's in a tower because you're protected, because you get these downloads. Yeah. There could be something shocking about people learning about someone's evil intentions here, or all these people that were involved in this evil, whatever these evil intentions are, they're going through a tower. Yeah, because you are an empress. Someone here was stalking an empress, stalking and spying on a public figure. You could be a public figure. Um, someone here that has addictive habits. Um, you could be a public figure, someone was stalking you or is stalking you, but you're getting all these downloads and you're protected. 
you have high vibrations, someone's in a tower because you stayed in high vibrations, they weren't able to lower your vibration, so everything's backfiring, or or you are this Empress energy, you could be dealing with someone here that's in the public eye, um, public figure, spying, stalker, especially with this star here, and this wealthy man, and this sudden wealth. And this just really weird goals that these people had here, or whatever they were trying to do for money or something. Um, maybe they felt really um, bold because they have some sort of like addictive habits here that, or like bad habits, addictive behaviors that they thought they were clearer than they are. Seven of Cups or something about partying a lot, public figure, spying, stalker. So the shock could be that something's going to come out about a public figure um, who was stalking this Empress energy, who was stalking this Empress energy. Someone's obsessed. Okay, we definitely have a stalker. Someone is obsessed. An obsessed person is in a tower, or there's something shocking coming out about an obsessed person who is spying and stalking who's either connected to this public figure, or it's this public figure doing it, or a public figure is in shock about someone being upset. I don't know who's obsessed. And I don't know who, I don't know if the, there's if the witchy group, okay, there's a whole group of people involved. Someone trying to, there's a water sign, there's a water sign and a fire sign involved, or has strong, strong water or fire strong water or fire, either you or them, someone's been spying on you and stalking you, maybe in your home and trying to bully you and they're really greedy and they're trying to mess with someone's head. I don't know if they're trying to mess with your head or this witchy group or trying to mess with someone's head and bully, bully you or bully these greedy people are trying to bully you and stalk you and are spying on you. That's the tower. It's either that something's coming out, the truth, yeah, legal issues, the truth is coming out. I think it's a mixture of both. The truth is coming out. It's shocking who's involved or it's shocking who someone is connected to here this whole group, or it's shocking, or this group is f dealing with the tower because you're protected and because you made it through this um, labyrinth that they set up for you, and so there's nowhere else for this to go. If it's up, it's stuck. They create their own reality. The energy has to go somewhere. Greed, it was all for money. Someone stalking you that's obsessed with you, watching you all the time, spying on you in your apartment, condo, or townhouse. Bully. A witch group of people. Obsessed with you? With an empress. Someone who's very loving. A good heart, intelligent, grounded, with something of value in their hands. They were trying to copy you. This isn't exactly clear who is doing what. Take what resonates as far as who is. I think you, you'll you know. Someone was trying to mess with someone's head here. And that's where that seven of cups is. Somebody is... Yeah, and I just heard a ding. There's something about somebody in a tower, mind games. Someone feels like either someone was being involved in something and they, someone else, they were, someone was manipulating them and they were involved as with this group trying to, and now they're one, they feel like they don't know why, how they got involved in something so crazy as this, or or someone was trying to play mind games on you. 
Okay, mind games, because we have Crown Chakra. So I definitely feel like it's like your downloads or something, but you made it through this labyrinth. And there's nowhere else for this to go but back to whoever... did this or is doing this and the shock could be that it's backfiring or the shock is that it's coming out or the shock is who it's who it's who it is either you or, or these people or both there's definitely something about people being in the public eye here and there's like a lot of confusion people are confused but it's like i don't understand why they would be so confused by such a, a wacky plan I just feel like even if someone's really arrogant and it worked in the past or whatever it is, wouldn't they calculate 2% chaos? I guess they just didn't see it was strong-willed or I don't know, but this is all about greed. They could be worried that, that you're going to sue them. Um, yeah, something was not smart, or, or they didn't realize you're as smart as you are. They're confused, they didn't plan well about this talking shit. Well, they don't have a plan, they don't know what to say, they said something, they said things about you. None of it's true, someone's in bad health, it's backfiring. Someone was love bombing someone. Someone talked all this shit about someone. And now they're, they're confused. They didn't plan well. They were being love bombed. There could be someone from your past that is realizing that they went the wrong way. They were being love bombed. Maybe they're realizing somebody was manipulating them. Someone could have been talking about you and now they're realizing None of it was true, or they knew it wasn't true, and they did it anyway because they thought they were going to get something, but now instead they're in bad health, they're going bankrupt. Someone could have some type of communicable disease. Empress reverse, official person, someone, everyone knows about this person now, this karmic kind of energy. Something about chasing someone. Being a stalker. Knight of Pentacles reverse. Knight of Swords, the only way out. Or someone's gonna seem really irresponsible, or everything's gonna slow down. Um, because you're in the upright. And they didn't commit to you, or they. they there's no way to fake. Yeah, this player's going down. Or someone doesn't want to be... Whoever tried to cock block you is crying over you. They're going down. They're going to have legal issues or they're dealing with legal issues from trying to steal something from you, having to do with an offer. Something wasn't smart. They talked all this shit about you and they were acting real fake. They can't take it anymore. Someone here was going way too far in some type of like spiritual lower vibrational spiritual practice that could have really made them unstable and they were talking about you but none of it's true you're also not lonely you're not lonely i mean not if you everyone you can be with a hundred people and feel lonely but you're not whatever lonely it is that they it's ridiculous to say that people don't feel lonely sometimes. You know, you come into the world alone, you leave alone, you could be with a million people and have that feeling. But in general, there was something about, you're not laying around pining for someone, essentially. You're just not. Uh, and I feel like you enjoy your, your alone time and you've done a lot, you've done a lot during, in other words, someone thought you were just sitting around and waiting or because the idea was that you were supposed to be down 
someone got real confused about what's happening with you. They were trying to steal something from you. Someone was trying to, someone was tripping on you and trying to steal something from you. And you had to be down for this or something that you weren't. You don't have any bad habits like these people or this person. Actually, you've been running from this situation. You aren't sitting around. That's more like it. You're not sitting around waiting for someone. Someone thought you were because you got rejected or something that you were going to be sad. You didn't react to this drama. Someone might have thought that you were going to be real stressed all the time, wondering about them or something like that, wondering about losing your chance. No, no you weren't. Someone might have acted like, or they're getting, realizing someone looked you up or something. There's a bunch of people that are wrong, or these people are realizing something was wrong. Um... They read you wrong, they read the situation wrong. Um, what's up, tell me about this wealthy man, or, or I'm gonna skip whatever this is, Nine of Cups, marriage in the near future, it's positive. Um, could be some someone coming towards you, or you're getting married, or this is some type of an alliance. Page of Swords, family room, wealthy man. This wealthy man is looking into something. Um, justice system. Got to be real clever. So someone is going to sue someone here. Someone is either thinking that they're going to get rich from this, or yeah, someone's trying to take your uniqueness, or that you're you're an individual, and someone's trying to think there's 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 a divine connection here. Um, and this has to do with business. So there could be someone here that is looking at all of this, um, sees you as very unique in business and something about a divine connection, and someone is looking into something about a legal, legal suit having to do with slander. This person could have blue eyes, they don't have to. There's something about someone's being jealousy, someone slandering you because out of jealousy. Um, but you're very unique. This person could live in a large house or mansion. Someone is losing their occupation here. Someone's falling from grace, or it's like a someone, everything was fake. Uh, yeah, this person is seen as, as a user and a gold digger. Things are changing for this person very quickly. Um, I don't know. They could be trying some, some, something, they could be trying to threaten someone about money, or, or they feel threatened by money. There could be a problem with a child as well. These people are going through a lot of something that they, they can't understand energetically. It has to do with your boundaries are very strong because you, you love yourself. Um, you practice self-love. This could be part of a conversation, and there could be... Um, law enforcement around these people they either do or don't know um there's a bunch they, they're dealing with um financial issues fake friends they've got people that are hidden enemies with within their group um ten of pentacles reverse thief reverse um brainwashed someone feels like they went along with something they, they weren't able to steal something from someone who's very unique. They weren't able to take something from you. It's yours. It's your unique. Something is yours. They, and someone was slandering you or something. And you get these, these downloads are yours. You're real high vibrational. They couldn't pretend to be you or take what's yours or whatever it is. Someone who's real jealous was slandering you. Someone, a bunch of people were part of this. It's shocking because it's it's coming out. It's 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 a tower because you could sue someone. Someone was slandering you. There's a bunch of people involved. It's shocking because of who's involved. It's shocking because of how far they went. Um, it's shocking because there's receipts here. 
it's shocking because you're this empress too and you're very unique and it's all coming out this whole weird thing these people were doing it's so specific and it's so odd and it's shocking you've lived through it but for someone to hear it or see it or some something about someone needed to, yeah someone's in big regret for this someone really regrets being part of this something could be on online something could go viral um something about someone's health too you're in good health there, there could be a cousin of yours that's in regret. Um, there's something about magic, too. Someone dibble dabbles in lower vibrational spiritual practices here. This could be coming out, or someone was involved. Because you made it out of the labyrinth. Everything that you, was meant for you is yours. Is happening. And I don't know if they're shocked or confused. Someone could be shocked and confused that their lies didn't work or that they're caught up or that someone was lying, that, that someone told such an egregious, outlandish lie about someone who's real unique. Yeah, someone's in sorrow. Someone was trying to distract you or stop you from concentrating or focusing on, on what makes you feel alive, something that's very much yours. Maybe also on your health, trying to stress you out. Someone was in their ego doing this. This person got a spiritual downgrade. Yeah. But someone might feel like they were... They were in some type of a fog doing this. They're gonna lose everything, but they weren't able to... They, they weren't able to steal something from you, and now they're feeling like they were brainwashed trying to do this take something that's very unique that that's what i was saying there was something about someone trying to implement i don't know if that's how someone got caught up or you know it's just very clearly not theirs or they couldn't once they stole it it's clear it's not theirs or there's some sort of there's definitely receipts here with this legal issues um outcome outcome something about someone's evil intentions message of concern someone has trying to sweet talk someone or someone's crying because of this message around about someone's evil intentions yeah someone's lies someone's evil lies someone's make trying to make someone's environment unsafe someone could be crying or um this is actually going to happen um, a lot sooner than you think. Uh, something of, you'll see the signs and the synchronicities for this. Um, you'll know what to do. It has to do with someone actually trying to win at all costs. It could have to do with someone sending someone a message or somebody trying to sweet talk someone or this is coming out that they were doing this. But I think the reason why we're seeing those revenge tactics, someone, um, Someone who's real jealous, some, some, someone's real jealous, you're going to see the signs of this, or or people are going to start to see something with this message. Someone has a lot of bad habits or addictive behavior. I don't know if they're trying to sweet talk you or send you a message, or, or it's all going to come out, but you're going to see the signs about this. You're going to get the signs before this happens. It has to do with someone from the past. Um... Someone from the past and a group of people that you don't even know and some people that might make you feel real claustrophobic that you don't know that are close to you that something feels off um yeah there's something about an email coming in or an email that implicates someone um you could have you could have a pet it's definitely something about your your destiny and someone being really angry at your harmony and this could have even started in the summer, or this is going to happen in the summer, that someone's going to get exposed, or someone's getting exposed. If you resonate with this message, I hope that it helps, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.